Hello guys, hope you're all keeping well. Uh, this is just a, a little video about how I managed to save myself uh, around a grand a week uh, from doing what I do. Now what I do is I commute from Yorkshire to London uh, once a week. I find myself areas using the uh, apps like Park for Night to stay in the camper um, and ultimately it saves me money. Now, I'm a contractor, I have been for a number of years. Um, I am in IR35, which unfortunately means I don't get to benefit uh, from the likes of staying in nice hotels without it coming out of my pocket. I was originally paying around 9,900 pound a day uh, to stay in the hotels in London, or on the outskirts of, uh, of London, um, and unfortunately, Back in 2023, summer 2023, uh, the prices uh, actually went over double. So I was paying in the region of uh, 220 a day. Now, obviously that's an extortionate amount of money. Um, you're not doing it under a business. It's even more, you're not claiming that money back. It's, it's money lost. So me being the type person that I am, I refused to pay that and I moved into my Peugeot 2008. Now the Persia 2008, for those of you who know, is a relatively small vehicle for a six foot person to sleep in the back of the car, but I managed it. Uh, I slept diagonally in the vehicle with the seats down, the back, back of the seats down. Um, I made myself some cardboard cutouts and used some fabric to, to blacken out the windows. I could literally fit them into the, into the window frames and I could remove them as and when. Now I used that. Uh, there was no heating, it was obviously the heating of the vehicle to keep me warm at night. Uh, I was in a, a sleeping bag uh, with a thin foam mat. Now, that was in summer, that's all brilliant. Um, obviously, coming towards winter time, it's not what you want to be in. You don't want to be sleeping in the back of a car uh, with just your DOS bag. I managed to save quite a bit of money. Obviously, I wasn't paying that uh, outlay for the hotels because I was sleeping in the back of the car. Um, and I managed to pick myself up a reasonably priced uh, VW T5, um, which was turned out to be kitted out pretty well. Now, I ended up buying the, the, the van. Um, it already had bits done to it by Stitches and Steel, which I'm a big advocate of. Um, however, it was missing a few. I mean, th these guys do it for their surfer dudes. They, uh, they go down to the beach. They use it for what it was what it was intended for, the reason they built it the way it was. It's got a nice uh, drop down bed, which is on a pulley system, fantastic bit of kit. You've got a base with a drawer, you stash all your bits in there. I've got camping gear and all sorts, bottles of water, and, um, and the bed drops onto that. It retracts back into the roof. You can then use the, the van as normal. Um, what I decided to do was add a diesel heater so I fitted a diesel heater to the van uh, coming into uh, autumn, ready for the cold nights ahead. Um, I also used sound deadening and uh, insulation, um, and I also bought uh, carpet lining for the van, which I bought from Coombe Valley Campers. Definitely recommend those guys. Now, the van already came with um, an auxiliary battery, uh, a leisure battery. I plumbed in all my electrics to that, so I've got a couple of USB points and my diesel heater connected to that. Kept it re relatively minimal. I'm gonna add some LEDs to the back, uh, maybe some halo lighting. But ultimately, right now, it's a great van. And uh, we're in January 2024 now. Uh, we're getting temperatures of minus five degrees and my diesel heater is ticking away. Um, a little two kilowatt diesel here for those who want to know. Ticking away all night and I am toasty. And the outside of the van is frozen over and it's a great feeling to wake up in the morning when the air's warm and you're comfortable uh, and it's nice and chilly in the air outside. Um, but genuinely, you know, you don't have to go out and spend 20 grand on the van. You can go and buy yourself a two grand van. Uh, obviously don't do that in London because we've got ULEs and you're more than likely going to get smashed for that um, for buying a two grand van but generally 
Um, what I'm saying is buy a, a relatively decent condition van and uh, kit it out. And it really is simple when you break it down. Um, panel van, I mean, you can buy a panel van, stick a bloody camp cot in it, sleeping bag, and you're off, aren't you, really? Uh, and then you go into a bit of privacy, so you want you know, a, curt a cheap curtain from Amazon to go across your, your seating area to give you a bit of privacy. Um, then, like I say, you want to go into your insulation, your sound deadening, carpet lining, get all that done and have your camp cot and sleep back and get it set up, you know, and slowly, slowly but surely build up. When you're used, you know, if you're a contractor and you're working in London and you live away, and I know there's a lot of people that do the same thing, save yourself, put that money aside, a couple of hundred pounds every week. You know, you might only be spending 30 pounds a night on a hotel. You know, you might be thinking, sod this, I'm not paying 30, 30 pound a night anymore. I'm going to buy a van, save your money, buy your van, and then slowly but surely put your money into your van. Buy your insulation, buy your sand deadening, and within no time you're going to have yourself a really comfortable vehicle, travel around in for work, but actually use it in your free time, which is what I currently do now. And I'm talking a couple hundred pounds, get yourself your sand deadening, do that one week. Soundproofing, uh, sound deadening, um, insulation. Do that another week. Get your carpet the following week, and you slowly but surely do it. Live in your, live out your camp cot with your dust bag for a few weeks until you make your bed frame, or until you want to purchase something like this tickles your fancy. And actually, you've got yourself a van for at least one person in a relatively good state. Then you want to put a diesel heater in if you're that way out, like I was. Put yourself USB attachments if you want to, you know, if you want that sort of thing. I did, and uh, yeah, get yourself a nice, a lovely, you know, chilled out space where you can relax on an evening. And, you know, you can go off to all the different sites, just chill and relax, and just reap the benefits of what you've what you've invested. You know, what you've worked, what you've put your money into. It's a great feeling. Um, but ultimately, someone like myself. Who's paying 100 pounds? Was was about to pay 220. Sod that. Get yourself a van. Put a bit of time in. Lose a few weekends getting yourself lost in the van. I promise you, you'll be loving it. And you're not, you know, you're every every night you sleep in that van, you are making money. You're making money from the money that you've saved from not spending it on hotels, especially those that are outside R35 who are considered employees who get nothing back. Do it, enjoy it, and enjoy the time that you have in your van, which is what it's all about, isn't it? So get out there, buy a van, do it up, and I promise you, you'll never look back. It is the start of something special. Thanks guys for watching the video and supporting the channel. Please leave a like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment and I look forward to seeing you again soon.